Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another StarCraft II cast. Today, I am super excited because I'm bringing you a Protoss versus Terran, and you're like, Max, why are you excited? Because there is no Zerg. But I'll tell you why. Spawning in the top right corner, we've got our Protoss player spawned in blue, known as Cloudy. And we're going to do the, the dramatic pan across the map. In the bottom left corner of the map... I'm running out of mouse pad space. Hold on. In the bottom left corner of the map, we have the man, the myth, the legend, probably one of my favorite pro Korean uh, Terran players, at least. We have, as the red Terran player, Innovation. All right. So this is probably going to be an insane game because I know that Innovation is basically one of the best players in the world. I love watching him so much. He's awesome. What can I say? Need to take some water. So I stop having to pause it and cough because I can't split my audio tracks and shadow play and it sucks. But that's okay. We're going to see some pretty standard stuff right off the rip here. We've got barracks. I'm assuming a reaper. And this probe is going to be coming into the base of innovation. Meanwhile, we do have the second nexus coming down from our Protoss friend. And, of course, Reaper is in production. Very good. I don't think he's going to be out in time to chase the probe out, but that'll be okay. SCV is going to do that just fine, and I feel like the SCV is trying to block. Yes, he is. He's got to be. He's trying to block out the second command center. But both of these SCVs are going to be rocking, socking robots. Yeah, get out of there, probe. Nobody wants you. I'm going to put down my second command center where I feel like it. That's what innovation says in, in Korean. Yeah, basically, uh, <laughs> I've been casting a lot today, so I'm starting to lose it. <laughs> we do see the Reaper moving out across the map. Let's see. We've got a Stalker on the way from our Protoss friend as Warpgate is just beginning research. I'm really curious what this Reaper is about to do because it is a Reaper of Innovation. Moving up into the main base. Grenade goes down immediately. Going to be knocking away some of the pros, but just in time, that Stalker comes out. But he is not able to chase the Reaper because he jumps over the cliff. Uh, meanwhile, back at home, one of Cloudy's probes is going to be... Oh, one more shot. No, it's not enough. He's going to move it just in time. He wants to try to stop him from building up the command center here. He's trying to take out the SCVs. Let's see. Can he finish it? All he needs to do is finish it. We do have a Marine here to scare away the probe, and he will be able to finish the command center. Meanwhile, one of Cloudy's stalkers moving across the map. We're going to be finding this Reaper, but the Reaper doesn't care. The Reaper just keeps moving on. And again, we've got some Marines here trying to defend for innovation. Ooh. Oh, man, that would have been awesome if he could have predicted. I mean, he can see where the, the grenade goes, but that would have been awesome if he could have predicted where the stalker was going to go. He was just like on autopilot. Meanwhile, we do have a third command center being built for Innovation Tech Lab coming on to this barracks. I'm assuming he's going to build something else like a starport or a factory and attach it. We've got more Marines coming out of this reactor barracks here. And an engineering bay being built. Very interesting. Got more stalkers just patrolling the map trying to find Innovation's Reaper. But he's being sneaky. Look at him. He's being sneaky. He's hiding. The stalkers have no idea where he is. We've got Warp Gate just about finished. And Blink also started. Meanwhile, we have uh, Weapons 1 and Stimpak on the way for our friend Innovation. Poking up the ramp with the Reaper. Not a good idea because the stalkers are standing right there. So he's just going to head on back. Relax. And we do have a handful of Marines and a Bunker. Also being built at the forefront of Innovation's expansion. Where's that third command center? It's just finished now. And he's producing SCVs. Kind of interesting. But that's okay. We've got a missile turret out. Lots of stalkers moving out across the map. Or are they still looking for that Reaper? I'm not too sure. Because this Reaper could come in and try to, try to hit the uh, Nexus before it builds, can't he? I don't know. 
we're gonna see we've got weapon upgrades halfway finished here we do have marines in this bunker though and we do ha also have a uh, missile turret stalker's gonna be finding that poor poor soul of a reaper who thought he was k but he was not k oh look at this man innovation's gonna be fine we got plenty of marines hanging out for the stalkers but blink is just about finished so if he really wanted to, he could take his uh, stalkers and just blink them past the bunker into the mineral line. But I'm not sure if he's going to do that. Let's see what happens here. We do have a huge force of marines blinking. Oh, he, he blinked some of them back and then he blinked some of them forward. What was that? If Cloudy's going to attack, he... Oh, it's too late. Stimpak's going to be finished. And weapons level one is going to be finished as well, making the marines even stronger. Is he going to stim for it? He could probably catch some of them. No, I don't think it's worth it without a medevac. But then again, the Protoss units do have the advantage of just being able to poke up. All he needs to do is take a couple shots, blink back, let his shields recharge, and he'll be okay. Or no, they don't recharge anymore, right? Because the shield battery, they don't just recharge on their own anymore, do they? I don't think they do. I don't play Protoss, I don't know. Innovation salvage the bunker. What? <laughs> it's okay because the medevacs are here. I guess he just doesn't need the bunker anymore because the medevacs come out. We do have... Oh, man, look at this. Combat shield and concussive shells for his marauders. Going to be chasing these stalkers across the map, especially with those marauders. Going to be easy money for innovation. Uh, so, Cloudy, now realizing that he's in trouble, going to be warping in some more forces into his third base. And also putting down a shield battery. Not too sure why Innovation isn't moving across. I guess he's just reinforcing a little bit. Putting down his third base. Actually moving it from over here into this position where it can mine. And here we go. We are moving out across the map. We're going to be taking out the wall. got widow mines also in the mix look at this this is this is like standard terran stuff going on here i'm waiting for innovation to just move in and destroy everything because that's what he does <laughs> got armor also finishing up just kidding what is that yeah infantry armor yeah yeah i'm, <laughs> I'm not a terran player <laughs> We do see the hallucinated phoenix out of Cloudy, just trying to see what he can see, I guess. But Innovation does have hold of this Zelnaga watchtower, so does he know which one is Innovation's? No, he doesn't. He can't see it from here. Oh, man. Let's see. We do have the Protoss army actually moving back. Because Innovation's moving down this ramp, he does not want to be there. Let's see. Oh, man, this should be an easy cleanup. We've got Widowmine setting up. And the Marauder's pushing out. We do have Archons morphed in, but it's not going to be enough. One gets taken out immediately, and the other one's just kind of stranded all by itself. We do have the Protoss army trying to sandwich, but there's just so many Terran units. Look at this stutter stepping from the god himself. Oh, my goodness. Easy cleanup. Just call Innovation the janitor. And then Cloudy GG's out of the game. Of course he does, because Innovation's a god. If you guys enjoyed this cast, you can leave a like and subscribe for some more videos. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.